Yeah, we can, I'm uh, I'm gonna see what uh, what he does first. I'm, I'm gonna go in there like I've always done, you know, patiently, calm, you know, try to read and study my opponent like I've always done. Um, it's no different. If he, you know, jumps on me faster and and forces me to fight, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna stand my ground also. Um, I'm not gonna be a punching bag in front of him. You know, I'm also gonna be throwing punches. I'm gonna be landing punches. I'm gonna be hurting him also. So if, if he decides to come on the attack early, I'm gonna have to step on the gas early too. Um, if I if I can dictate the pace and stay on the outside and box my way to a, a decision victory, a win is a win for me. So as long as I'm winning each round, it doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna be world champ. Is there any fights? Uh, I, I assume you guys are studying tape with Robert. Yes. Robert? Yeah. Um, you do that together, you and Robert. Yeah, with my dad also. Okay. And when you guys study tape, which fight or fights? stick out to you as the best ways to approach him uh, some, some of his uh, fights that we've seen you know recently um, the other one more fights I mean we, we saw that his determination his will to win is always there 100% no matter what goes in the fight or what's happening during the fight you know if he gets dropped he still gets right back up with same determination same heart same will um, that's what we learned from that one um, other fights like when he fought uh, Cruz um, you know, they were both rugged, you know, brawling fighters, you know, so you really can't pick a way to, to you know, beat Salido just from one or two fights. Um, but we've looked at more fights. Um, he fought Gamboa. Uh, we saw that Gamboa's speed was probably the biggest, you know, factor that, you know, determined the, the victory for Gamboa. But like I said, he was always in the fight. He's always in the fight, always, you know, putting on the pressure, with good body attacks, um, you know, good overhand rights. You know, he's always a dangerous fighter. We've seen uh, some of his older fights. We've seen some of his uh, fights. Uh, we saw his uh, Marcus fight. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey. Hey, my friend. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Yes. We, uh, we saw the Marcus fight. That was his first title shot. Uh, he might have been a little, a little under the lights that time, and maybe he didn't perform to his fullest. Uh, but that's Marquez, you know. You know he, Marcus also decided to play it safe. You know, he knew what he had in front of him. So Marcus decided to just play it safe and be on the outside for most of the time and just try to win, you know, round, you know, on points, round by round. So we took everything into account and, you know, we took the best things that we can do and just blend everything together to uh, come up with our game plan to win. You and your brother, your brother says that, you know, you, you're a very cerebral fighter. We all know that you can box, you can punch, you can, you know, you're, you're, you're a calculated guy. Your favorite fighter is Mayweather. Right. And, uh... When you get in the ring and he, there is that moment where you have to choose between, or maybe early, yeah, maybe yeah. late, fighting and yeah. boxing. Um, will you listen to your corner? I know sometimes it's I'm on the one in the ring, and um, you know sometimes they've asked me to step up the, the pace a little bit, or you know start put, putting some a little bit of pressure, applying some pressure on my opponents, and you know I've, I've waited maybe a round or two to do that. But it's just because I see my opponent still still in there a little bit, so I don't want to risk too much yet. Um, but for this fight, I think that I'm going to do everything that they tell me to when they tell me. Um, because they're also seeing it. You know, they see the, the reaction. They see that they can also read my opponent just as well as I can read.